Hey everyone, welcome to Being Classy. My name is Jessica and in this video I want to show you how to get started using Grammarly. I have two other videos that show you how to get started using Grammarly via a Google Chrome extension and also how to get started using Grammarly via your Microsoft Word application on your desktop. You can add that in as a plugin. So there are a variety of different ways that you can use Grammarly on your computer and even on your mobile device, your iPad, iPhone, Android device. But I want to show you the basics of getting started using it with your My Grammarly account and your desktop. All right, so here I am within my Grammarly account and I do have a pro account. However, if you have the free version, you can pretty much do the same things. You won't have access to the extra suggestions and editing tools unless you upgrade to a premium account. So you'll notice within my Grammarly account, what I can do is I can see any of my uh, settings here. So I have my My Grammarly selected on the left. I can also go down to the apps to see all of the apps that Grammarly works with. So you'll notice I have Grammarly for my Mac installed. If you have a Windows computer, you could have Grammarly for your Windows computer installed. You can have Grammarly for Chrome. Let's say you have a Chromebook or you just want to have it as a Chrome extension. You can install that there. I do already have it in my Chrome extension and I have a video on how to do that. You can have Grammarly for your iPhone or iPad or you can have Grammarly for your Android. All right, so I also wanna show you within my Grammarly account, what you can do is you can upload any of your writing files or papers um, and have Grammarly via the web browser, via your web account check. So you'll notice I'm going to select this new upload button here and I do have a paper I'd like to upload just to check before I submit it to my course that I am taking. All right, so here's what's really great. With my premium account, I have these options. If you have a free account, you may have some, but I can decide um, if what domain I'm using. So right now I'm using the academic domain. This is an academic paper, so I'd like to say that. It's in APA style. If your paper is in a different style, you could check for that. Um, and then I can click done. All right, now here my paper is within Grammarly and it's giving me a bunch of suggestions. Um, so I can go ahead and review these suggestions. There are a lot of videos I've noticed that say how to accept all suggestions. I wouldn't recommend that. This is a wonderful application and wonderful tool, but let's face it, you know you're writing best. It's great to see the suggestions, but then you would wanna decide if you want to actually accept this suggestion or whether or not it's good how it is. So what's really great is not only does it give you the suggestion, but it gives an explanation as to why they're suggesting it. So in this first, it's saying that this is in passive voice. It's saying this might want to be an active voice, so consider if you'd like to change this. I can then go down here, it says change the preposition. Hmm, it seems this preposition may be used incorrectly. I may have wanted to say of instead of for. Hmm, that's a good suggestion. If I want to select the suggestion, I can just go ahead and select of, and then it will correct it, okay? Now here's the other way that you can use Grammarly. I'm going to show you from my desktop application how I can use Grammarly. I have my Grammarly desktop application installed. And so what I'm going to notice here, this is just within my notes application on my MacBook. And so when Grammarly is installed on your desktop application, it's actually going to run through all of the applications that are being used, um, not just your internet or not just Microsoft Word. So in order to select and see suggestions for editing or revisions, using your Grammarly desktop application, you can hover over those red lines. Now, the red squiggly lines, that is just my built-in rev revision editing tool on my Mac, but the red solid lines is showing me my Grammarly. So what I can do is it's saying that this within should actually just be one word, and I did do that for the purpose of this video. So what you can do, if you want to accept this change, you can just click this blue button and it will accept that change. Now, I just collect Command Z, which undid that suggestion. So let's say if I did not want to accept this change, I could just select Dismiss, okay? Um, and then again, you can go through your entire paper. Looking over, I would suggest looking over your entire paper to see if you actually want to accept the suggestions it's giving you. So there you have it, the basics of getting started with Grammarly. There are a bunch of different things you can do with Grammarly to help improve your writing, such as 
checking for plagiarism, checking your writing suggestions. I highly suggest checking out Grammarly and seeing what type of Grammarly application you want to use to help improve your writing. I hope you found this getting started with Grammarly tutorial helpful for you. If this video was helpful, please like this video, share it out with anyone else who may benefit from it, and don't forget to subscribe to Being Classy. My name is Jessica, and I hope to see you in the next video.